Now, new coronavirus restrictions coming into force in Austria, with schools and non-essential shops closing from today after a partial lockdown was already imposed two weeks ago. Chancellor Sebastian Kurz admitting there are still many who say infections don't happen at school, in shops or services. But the truth is that the authorities can no longer trace 77% of new infections, which means they no longer know where the contamination is happening. Well, earlier I spoke to our correspondent in Vienna, Anthony Mills, and I started by putting it to him that the initial measures taken by the government, well, they just weren't enough. Things have developed fairly quickly. It's not so long ago that we had the health minister here saying that a lockdown uh, was a long way off and uh, making it sound very unlikely. Both he and the chancellor had been expressing optimism uh, not so long ago that we would be uh, uh, spared a second wave, as it were, and there was certainly no indication that it was going to be as intense as this and that it would lead uh, to this kind of lockdown. But here we are, just a couple of weeks or so uh, after a uh, what was called a lockdown light, uh, which hasn't had the kind of impact uh, that the government was looking for. It didn't bring the numbers down enough. Uh, and so now we're back where we were uh, months ago with a really stringent lockdown, people unable to leave home uh, for anything other than really essential things such as exercising alone outdoors, uh, going to the shops to get food. Uh, and uh, visiting people who are very close family members uh, who depend on them. Uh, schools as well, they're uh, switching to distance learning. Uh, and the hope is that these measures, despite the fact that the population here is suffering uh, a bit of weariness, as it were, when it comes to uh, COVID, that these measures are going to be able to bring down the numbers which had reached close to 10,000 confirmed cases a day. And uh, it's worth bearing in mind that Austria is a pretty small country at about 9 million inhabitants, so a really high number, and no wonder uh, the government was highly concerned.